Well, what's up, guys? I'm Random Frank P. Back with episode 172 of Room Tour Project, the series where you show off some of the best gaming setups to give you some ideas, inspirations for your own setup. Now, I took last week off. Had people ask me if I died or if I'm sick. It's all good. We're just chilling last week. But we're back with episode 172. See so anything you like in this episode? I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below, so you can check it out. But let's start it off. First, we have setup journey with a nice and warm fiery setup lots of orange and yellow hues and anally for our light panels tons of rgb going on and a pretty sick tv mounted right behind the setup well not like behind it you know what i mean now for his two displays his primary one mounted to the wall is a 34 inch lg ultra wide and the one in portrait mode on the left side is a 24 inch from samsung i feel like 2019 so far has been year of the portrait monitor we've seen him a lot more lately now actually giving you that you know that vertical screen real estate is going to be helpful in most applications Next up for the peripherals, we got a whole bunch of Razer going on with the Razer or not a keyboard, the Razer Death Adder mouse on the Razer Firefly mouse pad with the Razer Kraken 7.1 headset and then the Sound Blaster X Katana RGB soundbar. And obviously all going to that red, yellow, orange color scheme. Now checking out his PC, this one complements the setup perfectly I think because of the way it looks with the Corsair Crystal 570X RGB case inside the Intel i7 7700K CPU with an older Corsair AIO. We have an MSI carbon motherboard with 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM and the MSI GTX 1080 Aero graphics card. Pretty clean build altogether, lots of RGB even down to the fans. Then as you saw before in the wide shot, across the room he has a 65 inch 4K TV from LG mounted nicely there even with some of that RGB backlighting. And altogether for a gaming bedroom this is definitely sick. I love how he's sticking to that you know fiery color scheme as well. You can check out his Instagram for more setup pics. Now we have Luna Games, and I say that and my dog Luna looks at me all confused, but I am a huge fan of the simplicity of this one, and she noted that a lot of this was budget gear, which proves, right here, that just because you have a budget setup doesn't mean it has to look bad. This looks great, and it keeps the wallet happy. So for starters, that display is a 21 and a half inch AOC monitor. Nothing too crazy when it doesn't have to be. Surrounded by some green with the fake plants, which is going to make it, you know, pop and stand out from the all white desk and walls. As for the peripherals, we have a Drevo Caliber 72 keyboard with a Rapu wired optical mouse. And the headset is the Razer Kraken V2 Quartz headset. Now over to the beast. BC. How about the PC? Uh, this is the CyberPower uh, Onyxia. I believe that's how you say it. She noted it's a pre-built PC, but inside an AMD Ryzen 3 2200G CPU with uh, Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM, an MSI motherboard, and an MSI GTX 1660 GPU. Having those white LED fans and the white cables definitely gives the PC some pop as well to match the all-white setup. But to add some color, I really like the prints she has hung up, some of the pop figures around, the pink accents in the chair and the quartz razor headset, little things like that and just little things around the room really make it, you know, a more personal setup. So all in all, I'm a big fan of this refreshing setup that doesn't have to break the bank. Now we've got Liam and damn, this one's got some bite to it. When I first saw this, I thought the wallpaper was like a, some sort of big reptile and that thing was an eye, but it's like an overhead shot of someone in a, like a canoe or something like that. So I was getting these like reptile vibes. I could see now that's not what it is, I don't think. Or is it? I don't really know. But we got two displays with the monitor and the massive overhead, some uh, the Leaf Aurora light panels. Let's check it out. His primary display is a 24 inch ASUS monitor and that mounted overhead is a 49 inch TV from Sony. Come on, tell me that's not an abstract reptile. And with a setup like this, you can have it all green fit into a certain theme and then completely switch it up. Go for that, you know, purplish, blue, orange vibes going on with a nice cotton candy sunset. I love the versatility with stuff like this where just the lights can completely change up the look of a setup. Checking out his peripherals, he has the Leopold FC 
M mini mechanical keyboard with a Myonix caster mouse. Man, whatever happened to Myonix? They got some good stuff back in the day. They were like underrated but had great gaming mice and then it's like I haven't heard from them in like four years. We have a extended mouse pad here, the sound bar is from Philips, and the SteelSeries Arctis 7 wireless gaming headset. Now we'll check out the PC and I see that little Groot there chilling. It's the NZXT 500 case inside an AMD Ryzen 5 2600 CPU with a Shark Gaming Blood Freezer 120 AIO. I'm telling you guys, these companies are on DMT when they come up with their names. We got 16 gigs of Crucial Ballistics Sport LT RAM, an ASUS ROG Strix B450F gaming motherboard with an ASUS RTX 2060 Dual GPU. But not dual like two graphics cards, dual as in, that's the name. So Liam, I am 100% uh, digging this setup. I'm not usually a big fan of wallpaper, but the kind of texture it has going on, I think is a really nice change up from just a flat wall here. Uh, and I love the massive overhead you got, the RGB light chips behind it. And all right, now I'm seeing these overhead water wallpapers definitely have some monsters going on. There's something coming out of the water. I see it, you see it too. It's time to admit it. End rant. This setup is from Tex, and I don't care who you are, how old you are, if you're 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, lightning bolts are cool, and that neon sign is absolutely dope. Maybe it's like a Shazam thing, I don't care, but it fits the setup abnormally well. Tex is rocking two monitors side by side, one being a Dell S27DGF, it is 1440p at 155Hz, with the other one being an ASUS 27-inch 75Hz, but also 144p panel. And I just gotta say, these photos, this submission here, is beautiful. A lot of times I'll get like absolutely blurry or grainy photos. This perfectly exposed, nice and sharp when focus and understanding of depth. I even loved like the blend of like the creamy colors it's got going on, the orange and the light blues. I think this looks beautiful. All right, Frank, shut up about all that stuff. Let's get back to the peripherals. So for his keyboard, he has the Fnatic Mini Streak Pro TKL keyboard with the red silence switches inside with the Corsair Dark Core RGB mouse and an HP Omen extended desk mat. For audio, his cans of choice are the Bear Dynamic DT990 Pro. And even though it's not a peripheral, you know I'm gonna shout out that Tommen's wooden desk lamp. That's what's up. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a detailed shot of the PC. It's the only shot we have, but I'll read off the specs anyway. We have an i7-8086 CPU with an ASUS Strix Z370F motherboard, 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z, RGB RAM, a GTX 1080 inside the Fantex Evolve X case. It's a bummer to see it tucked away down there, but taking a look the way the wall kind of, uh, you know, slants, I guess, you can't really fit it on the desk either, so understandable. And props for that natural bokeh. So Tex coming in, stealing the thumbnail, and like I said before, just great composition, great photos, a great put together setup. I can tell you've got some good taste. Now you might remember this one. We've had him on a few times, I wanna say, maybe once or twice. This is 2019 setup, and I know an audiophile, and this guy definitely has some crazy gear uh, but let's just check out his monitors for now because there's a lot to get into his primary is the acer predator x34 with the two on the outside being two 27 inch benq displays what did i say before gear the vertical monitors for the peripherals his keyboard is a custom ergodox ez it's also got a, uh, a scuff elite xbox one controller the logitech g502 a pair of jbl lsr 305 studio monitor speakers in between his monitor setup and then powering his audio game is the shit Valhalla 2 the shit jotunheim the rme adi 2 dac and amp the loxy p20 balanced hybrid 2 amp and then his headphones. There's one, two, three, four, five, like 10 here, and they are all crazy. I, I'm i gonna put them down below because it's just bizarre. But like I said, audiophile, top of the line stuff. This man knows his headphones. Um, I'm very jealous because it's some, uh, some crazy gear. Let me just say that. And then real quick, we'll address the PC, you know? He's got an Intel i7-7700K CPU, Corsair H100i Platinum RGB AIO, 32 gigs of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM, and an Asus GTX 1080 Ti Turbo. Man, 
I'm still just hung up on all his audio gear. Uh, crazy stuff. Like I said, we showed him off before. Wanted to have him on again because I respect the audio game and I respect him. Definitely a cool setup. And this episode of Room Tour Project is brought to you by Corsair and the Harpoon Wireless RGB Mouse. Coming in at just $50, this revolutionary wireless mouse is top of the line in terms of reliability and practically zero latency, all thanks to Slipstream. With a 60 hour battery life and ergonomic design, six programmable buttons, and RGB lights, you really can't beat it for that $50 price. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. All right, guys, I'll wrap it up for episode 172 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, check the links in the description down below for all the gear and hardware you saw. It'll be listed down there for you, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered to be on a future episode of Room Tour Project. So if you think yours is better than the ones you showed off today, definitely submit. Feel free to follow me on Twitter or Instagram at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.